Hi folks, Ron with Pioneer, field agronomist in Central Texas. Beautiful corn crop here this time of year. One of the things we run into as we get uh, plants that are a little bit larger is determining growth stage of the crop. That's one of the things that's very important this time of year, especially if you're looking at herbicide applications, maybe you're applying Affligard or AF36, some products we use in Central Texas a lot. It's good to know what stage of growth you're at. When plants are small, like you see right here, it's really easy. You take and count the leaves. You can start with the rounded leaf. One, two, three, four, almost five leaf there. But as plants get bigger, you typically lose these lower extremity leaves. And all of a sudden it becomes a little more difficult to actually gauge the height of the plant or what the growth stage is. A lot of labels call for a certain V stage or a height or that sort of thing or a combination of both. So one of the things I like to do is be really accurate in determining growth stage. If you'll look right here at this plant, in this V right here, you have approximately four nodes. Then you have about a quarter to half an inch space. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This crop right here is at V10. So for example, if you were gonna apply a particular herbicide that said V8 or 30 inches, this crop is past that stage. In addition, if you were gonna apply AF36 right now and it called for at least V8 to V10, this would be a perfect stage. So staging corn growth, critical to know the way to do it correctly. Hope this helps. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.